Hello YouTube, this is Matt from Casual Riders. I'm actually on a Friday afternoon washing my bike. And not in a parking lot like normal. Why am I not in a parking lot? Well, I'm self-isolating. I was in an environment that uh, wasn't following social protocols and so I am now in self-isolation. As a result, I haven't been able to ride my bike since Sunday and um, <coughs> this is the first time I've actually been near my bike. <laughs> it's been locked up in the garage. So, um, I wanted to have a chat about uh, something that happened to me at my last parking practice. And, um, well, I dropped my bike. So, um, I cracked my indicator and the elephant in the room, my fairing. But not only that, the plastic covers that attach to the fairing have got clips that sit all the way under here. And, um, they've all cracked. All the clips have actually broken off, so it's literally being held together by that screw. The holder for that screw has disappeared. That screw. And um, in fact, the damage was so rough that it split the plastic, uh, the clips on this side as well, because the shock propagated through. Let's go into a little bit of detail about how I dropped the bike. But before I do, please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell so that you get updates on future videos. So what I was doing is, I was doing a parking lot weave and I'm going to edit in some footage of a decent one because Murphy's Law, every time I drop the bike, or I'm close to dropping the bike, I don't have a camera rolling. Anyways, so I was doing a quite right hand bend, looking to the right and I don't know what happened but I lost confidence in my ability to perform the maneuver. So as a result of that, I looked away from where I wanted to go, pulled in the clutch, and the second I pulled in the clutch, I lost power from the engine to the back wheel, and that immediately makes the bike fall over if it's at an angle. So because it's low speed, there's not a lot of momentum. As soon as you pull the power, there is no more momentum to go and it just drops the bike. Unfortunately, because this bike weighs 250 kilograms, I wasn't able to save it. And as a result, nice big broken fender. But yeah, unfortunately, it is what it is. And you know, I, I picked a 1200cc motorcycle I knew the repercussions of owning a big, powerful, heavy motorbike as my first bike. And um, I definitely don't recommend it to anybody that's a new rider. And a lot of my friends were like, dude, don't buy such a big bike. It's not a good idea. You shouldn't do it. It's a heavy bike. It's a powerful bike. Um, I unfortunately made the decision to ignore their advice. The biggest thing that I want to highlight from today's video is it doesn't matter how many times you drop your bike or what's going to happen, a bike is going to be dropped, especially your first motorbike. It's not the end of the world if you drop your bike. Get up and ride again. However, things like this can be mitigated with things like crash bottoms, uh, frame sliders, engine sliders. And it's something that I am looking at getting it in the future. Which brings me to a point of discussion. I now have a Patreon account. So if you want to help me out so that I can better protect my bike um, and replace my fare, then please support me on Patreon. Um, the Patreon information is in the description below. And also, Check out Excogitate's channels because he's been giving us all his music for free to use for this channel. So support his music. Anyway, I want to thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I know I was rambling a little bit, 
didn't really have much to talk about. Once again, please subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss my next video. Uh, if you guys like interacting more with me than just seeing footage of the rides, let me know because any feedback that you guys give me, I can use to grow this channel to be a lot better, to be the content that you desire. So yeah, please leave some comments down below and until next time, stay safe.